Did Milton Erickson only do conversational hypnosis? Well, in the field of hypnosis, people often talk about Milton Erickson as being the father of indirect hypnosis or conversational hypnosis. But is that all he did? Or is there more to the story? Hi, I'm Mike Mandel. And I'm Chris Thompson. And we are Mike Mandel Hypnosis. You know, Erickson was known so much for conversational hypnosis, people don't realize he was also extremely direct at times. In fact, when he began doing hypnosis, he was entirely direct and directive. In his latter years, he came back and said he was too directive in the beginning, but he didn't mean that he moved away from it completely. You see, when a subject is deep in hypnosis, this is not the time to be all fluffy and vague and flowery. It is the time to be very specific and extremely direct. And that's why we recommend that all hypnotists should learn both styles of hypnosis. You have direct, very direct at one end of the spectrum, and then you have very indirect, flowery, artfully vague language and stories and things like that at the other end of the spectrum, right? And this is on a continuum. You know, you can do a very permissive induction, very maternal and relaxed, and then you can get very direct and go to direct suggestion and guided imagery, perhaps, that uses direct suggestion to run the process, sort of like a control panel mm -hmm. in the mind. Yeah, as, an, as a quick example, let's say you were doing an induction that was what we often call when we teach it inside of the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy, an invitation into trance, which is right. basically the starting point for doing Ericksonian conversational hypnosis, pacing and leading style of commentary. Well, that's very permissive, but like Mike just said, you could move on and do something very direct where you're telling the client exactly what they're doing in some sort of control room panel intervention or something like that. You also could do a very direct style induction. For well, example, like braid, the yeah, braid let's induction. say a braid yeah, induction, yeah. you're staring at a coin and you're giving someone a very direct set of instructions on what they're to do and what is going to happen. And then you could move into, let's say, a conversational style of using language to pace and lead and seed ideas and perhaps even do content-free therapy because sure. content-free therapy, it's kind of hard to be very directive with content-free <laughs> right. therapy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the key is if you know both styles, if you're able to do the highly direct stuff and the extremely maternal Milton Erickson indirect stuff, you've got a continuum and you can be much more flexible. You can move in this continuum at any time and you can be as direct as necessary and as indirect as possible. And that is the basis of what you have been calling for years, the Mike Mandel Neo Ericksonian style Correct. of hypnosis. So if you want to learn more about it, check the links in the description under this video here on YouTube and you'll find a link to start a trial at the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy, which is what we spend basically all our time working on. That's it's right. Awesome. While you're here, you may as well smash that bell. Thanks again. Hit that subscribe button so you'll always get our videos and we'll see you in the next video. Yes, Thanks we will. again. And good, good night. night.